Okay, hey everybody, Bradley Van Nine here. We're here with Mr. Peach. He's hanging, he's climbing, he's doing stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get iPogo using the 3U Tools installer. And keep in mind, Matrix installer is, I believe, pretty similar, but I'll look into that later. Matrix is for Mac, 3U Tools is for PC. So let's get this thing started. It shouldn't be too hard, and it'll be similar to the Alt Store if you've done that before, follow my video on that. So let's get started getting iPogo going since I spoofer biting the dust. All right, so if you're curious as to other methods or if you wanna just try and do this yourself, I'll show you where I started off because obviously I had to find this out somehow too. So if you wanna know how to do that, as I mentioned in my other weekly update videos, I got my website here, bradleysfen9.com. And if you go to the spoofing vault, you will find a button here called Discord invite links and then as you see here there's the iPogo discord you just click it and then all you got to do is hit this little link down here and it'll send you straight to their discord inviting your discord account into their server so now we'll go to that discord server and then once you're accepted you could just see their little pogo symbol here so you see their announcements you can see a little section here that says how to install. So right here it shows you these are the different methods. So as you see there's a handful of different ones but we're looking at the top one here the 3U tools installer. Matrix installer is for Mac. This one's for PC. So most people with the PC that's what this video is for. So we're going to 3U tools installer. So to start off you can go down to, as I mentioned up in here, you can go to Bot Playground, and then if you go there, it shows you step by step, so you could just ask which one you want, and they'll give you the step by step. So that's kind of what we're following here, and I'll just show you a quick rundown on how to do it yourself. So first things first, you gotta download the IPA, similar to iSpoofer, but this is the iPogo IPA. So, all you really have to do is go to iPogo, dot app and this is their home page and you can just straight up download IPA from there so then it'll go down into your downloads and that's step one step two we're gonna have to download 3u tools so let's go and find that on the internet as well so as most things Google will help you out 3u tools if you just type that most likely 3u.com will pop up. It'll look like this guy. All you gotta do is hit download. And then wait for that to load up. And now step three, if you haven't already have don't already have it, you're gonna have to download iTunes. And it mentions it has to be iTunes Win 64 or Win32. So keep that in mind. Those are the versions of iTunes that it mentions it has to be. Since you're using a PC, it makes sense. And then once it finishes downloading, you can just open it, say yes, install. So this is the easy part, just downloading the IPA and downloading 3U tools. Most people probably already got there themselves. So once we get 3U tools open, that's when the fun starts. So here we go. So you're going to have to start off by connecting your device, obviously. So, as I mentioned before, I rock multiple devices. This one always rocks iTools and will stay iTools. But this one's my little extra tester thingamabob. So we're gonna, I deleted iSpoofer and we're gonna get iPogo on there. So let's connect it using a cable straight up to your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you see it'll give you all your data there. So that's what it should look like once you have it connected. And this is my first time doing this so that you can understand what you may run into while trying this for the first time. So this is first step once you get 3U tools installed and you have your iPogo. So once you have 3U tools installed, iPogo IPA downloaded and your device hooked up, now is for the big steps. So first you're gonna have to open 3U tools and click the toolbox tab. So that's this one up here. 
Next, you have to locate and click the IPA signature. Right there, down at the bottom. So now since you've already downloaded the iPogo IPA, you could hit add IPA files. Now most likely it's in your downloads unless you put it somewhere else. So as you can see, I downloaded it again for the video. Doesn't matter which one as long as it's the same IPA. So now once you get the IPA loaded up, you see down here, sign with Apple ID. You're gonna wanna click that. And then you're gonna wanna add your Apple ID. So keep in mind if you add different Apple IDs from iTunes and your device itself, it may screw this up. So keep in mind, keep all the Apple IDs the same. So I'm just gonna go through and add mine. So as you see there, you're gonna have to go and select each of them. So click the app that you put in there and then click your Apple ID. So now once you have it there, you're gonna to wanna to hit start signing and then wait until it's finished. It'll show green writing. Gonna to have to do a little verification here. All right, and as you see there, It'll be green and say signature succeed. I assume that means success. Either way, we're gonna move on to the next step here. So you could exit out of this. So now that that app is a signed app, the next step is to go to the iDevice section. You're gonna to wanna to go to apps. And then as you see right here, import and install IPA. Now if you try to do this before that other steps that I just showed you, it'll just tell you un jailbroken device when you try and upload the iPogo. So we had to sign it first so that it'll work here. So now we import and install IPA. So here you wanna select the signed iPogo IPA from documents section, not the one that you downloaded. So now it should be loading it onto the vice, device and it should be successful. Now keep in mind, for this method, similar to Alt Store and the old City Impactor, you'll have to redo this every seven days, but it won't be that difficult because you'll just have to re-import the IPA again. You won't have to go through all the other extra steps unless a new IPA comes out. But honestly, once you get the hang of this, it, it'll take no time. And see there, now it says personal, and it's in there. Before I tried this without signing it, and it showed me the iDevice unjailbroken. So this doesn't tell me that. So now the next step is actually on the device itself, because as you can see, we got Pokemon Go on there, and that should be iPogo. So let's flip the stream over to the iPad section. Okay, now you can see that my iPad screen mirrored over there. So now we did all those steps, you got the Pogo app there, it won't open right now unless you do the regular steps. If you're new to the third party stuff and you gotta trust things or the spoofing, this is what you gotta do all the time. But most of you are already used to this. So you go into settings, then you go to general, and then you wanna go to profiles and device management over there on the right underneath VPN. And then it'll show your Apple ID and that's what you're gonna to wanna to trust. You wanna trust all those apps that are signed to your Apple ID. Trust it. And now we should be able to play iPogo, so let's see. This is my first time trying this. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video, but I wanna do a install tutorial of me doing it for the first time, show you how easy it is. Okay, you saw that it crashed on me on the first time there, but false alarm, it's still okay. So now you can see we got the iPogo stuff on the top right there, a little iPogo symbol. So this is my first time trying it. I, I guess I'll test a few things out and show you what it's all about here, but it's downloaded. You could do this now. You could get iPogo going. There is a VIP version similar to iSpoofer. We'll check out all the extra little settings and things they have in this one so pretty excited this wasn't too hard to get going so i hope you enjoyed this video 
and are able to get going iPogo yourself because I know since my last video mentioning iSpoofer getting shut down, lots of people wanted this video. So believe me, it was on my mind and I really wanted to get it going. Deleted iPogo off iSpoofer off my extra iPad and now we got iPogo going. All right, so here we go. We got iPogo on the far right there. It shows a nearby. I wish it was Hundo Chords, but they don't do that, I don't think. I just looked at it a little bit. But you could just tap it and it'll start walking to that nearby Pokemon. You could go into this. You could customize which ones you want to show up there. And then if you go and hit the little iPogo button on the top left, you could see it'll show where your cords are. You could paste those. You could add to favorites. Clear items. You could check out the map. So you could search cities and places on here if you want to just find a place. So you see here, it's got Pokemon all over the map too. That's kind of cool. And then if you want to teleport, I believe you just hold a spot. Okay, well, there you go. That's a little tip. If you're looking in the search bar, you can't teleport anywhere. So make sure you're out of the search bar and then you can just hold it and you can see all those options there. So you could add pins and create a GPX route if you want. You can snipe as in plop some cords in go snipe stuff um, you can change the speed of your walking speed but usually it stays at nine that's the good walking speed random route that'll just make an auto GPX for you so if we just type 50 now it'll my guy will just start walking that 50 stops whatever it created and then you could just catch and do stuff on your way around so, and then also it does have an IV checker, which is actually better than the eye spoofer one. So if we check this Phoebus, so you see in the top right, level 20, 38%, 10, 1, and 6 are its stats. But we don't want them. Run away. And then my favorite, you know I'm a Shundo hunter and I love those Shundos. Here's the snipe feature. You see on the bottom, it's got Pokemon, raids, nests, and quests. Quests mean the research from spinning stops. You can find the ones you want using this. So on my favorite one, the Pokemon, you can hit custom. And as you see here, I hit level one up. So it'll show all Pokemon level one and up. IV, keep it 100 if you want just the hundos. You don't want to hit ignore stats or it'll ignore all that other stuff. Gender doesn't matter. Distance, you want unlimited. Pokemon or form. That changes from a lowland to a regular. But if you just hit the Pokemon, you can customize the filter with all the ones you want. So type the ones you want to find 100 chords for. They aren't always there. You gotta hop on them when they're there. That's the whole thing about spoofing. And then you see there all those Pokemon are in your custom filter and you can just take them off when you want. And then if you just tap the custom afterwards, boom. Let's go what you want. You just tap it and hit teleport. It'll tell you your cooldown too if you've been screwing around. You go watch my cooldown video. I'm gonna make a new one eventually, but that cooldown video gives you the whole rundown of how to not let Pokemon run from you and how to spoof, because you can't just port all over the world all day. There are rules to spoofing. You can't just get everything you want, as many people think if they don't spoof themselves. They just make assumptions, but there you go. There's a Charmander, he's not a hundo because you have to be a level 30 account to actually use the cords. The Pokemon will be there, but it'll be a different IV. But once you're level 30 to 40, all the Pokemon are the same for everybody. It's just the grind to get up to level 30. You could go watch my speed leveling video if you want some tips on that to get to level 30 and start shunning hunting like myself. You go watch my other videos. I make weekly videos every Friday on what's going on with Pokemon and the spoofing front and tons of other cool stuff. You go follow me on Pogo Shiny Hunter to see all the Pokemon I catch. Follow me on Bradley's Fan 9 Instagram for all my YouTube updates. And I want to say thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have fun using iPogo, and I'll see you all on Friday and let you know if I learned anything else. So have fun using this, everybody, and I hope you're having a good day and continue having a good day. See you, everybody.